Ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome. Liam Cohen is officially out as Kentucky offensive coordinator. Where do the Wildcats and Mark Stoops go from here? Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Phillips of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. If you're on YouTube, be sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Also, hit that bell icon so you get notifications of when we go live and when we drop new video content, which is daily, every single day, day in and day out. Also, guys, be sure to subscribe to our podcast at SEC Unfiltered on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, you can find us there at SEC Unfiltered. And of course, guys, wherever you get your content, X, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, SEC Unfiltered is there. So again, appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. With that being said, guys, Liam Cohen is headed back to the NFL. It was reported this morning, this via Mike Garofalo, at Mike Garofalo on X. The Buccaneers are working on a deal to hire Liam Cohen as their new offensive coordinator. Sources tell me and at Rap Sheet, which is Ian Rappaport, after bouncing between the Rams and Kentucky the last six years, Cohen likely heads to Tampa for a possible reunion with pending free agent Baker Mayfield. That was this morning at 7.58 a.m. Eastern time. Since then, this has been confirmed by our friends over at Kentucky Sports Radio. Uh, of course, they've got their ear on the ground with the latest everything happening with Kentucky football. Our friend Nick Roush, i uh, been following his timeline closely this morning. It is all but official, I would say. No official word has come out. Uh, but Nick Roush did point this out this morning. Liam Cohen interviewed for the Bears job on January the 12th. Right, It's February the 2nd today, January the 12th. Mark Stoops has had three weeks to prepare to fill a vacancy at this position. This coaching search should not take long. That's at Roush KSR on X. Uh, he also posted two hours ago an official article, Liam Cohen is leaving Kentucky for the NFL again on Groundhog Day, no less. So again, no official word from the team, from Cohen himself, from Kentucky football, but it is all but official. It's all but confirmed. Liam Cohen is headed back to the NFL after just one year back in Kentucky, one year back in Lexington. It brings us to this quote, by the way, that our good friend Nick Roush posted on his timeline, January the 12th, 2023. So about a year ago to the date nearly. He said, after one and done at Kentucky in 2021, I asked Liam Cohen, what's to stop him from doing it again? Liam Cohen said, quote, I want to plant some roots. I'm not in a rush to go anywhere. Shallow roots indeed. You know, first things first, guys, when I saw this news, and I know this isn't exactly the same, right? It's not a head coach leaving for a coordinator position. Liam Cohen has NFL ties. He's comfortable at the NFL level. He's had success at the NFL level. But I could not help but think about the conversations that have been happening this week in regards to college coaches and their feelings on the current state of college football. And I just wonder for a guy like Liam Cohen, you know, Mark Stoops, I don't want to say he begged Cohen to come back, but this is the guy he wanted, right? He knew, he pointed. I remember talking to Mark Stoops about this at SEC Media Days last summer. He knew Liam was the guy that I wanted and needed to go get. But I just wonder for a guy like Liam Cohen, do you come back to the college game and because of the current environment, because of the current landscape with NIL and transfer portal and, you know, Kentucky, the challenges realistically that Kentucky faces in football, does a guy like Liam Cohen look around and say, you know what, I just want to coach ball. This really ain't for me. I'll let the general managers and, and, and the front office I'll let them handle all the contracts and the payments and all that. I just want to show up to the office, put together a game plan, and coach football. And so I can't help but wonder 
with all of these coaches, but especially the ones that make the leap to the NFL, or in Cohen's case, goes back to the NFL, is that a factor, right? Especially after just spending one year in Lexington, one year with Devin Leary, and you bring in Brock Vandegrift at quarterback, and you've still got Barryon Brown, you've still got Dane Key, and Liam Cohen says, you know what? I'm good on that. I'm good on that. Now, the question turns to where does Kentucky go from here on the offensive side of the football, guys? I, I think Kentucky, and maybe this is sort of a side note, but I, I think Kentucky needs to get back to their identity offensively. That is smash mouth football. They need to get back to the thing, in my opinion, that made them and, and has made them great under Mark Stoops, which is we're going to ground and pound. We're going to run the football effectively. Right, you got to hope that Brock Vandergriff's the answer at quarterback. Devin Leary obviously did not live up to expectations in Lexington. I think you've got to get back to an offensive. Like I think the offensive identity for Kentucky is more important, maybe even than the hiring. And I know Cohen was was highly criticized, highly scrutinized, and it was well deserved. The offense underachieved, right? It, it did. The offense underachieved under Liam Cohen in 2023. There is no question. But when I think of Kentucky football, when they were at their best, I think of Benny Snell. I think of a big, physical, nasty offensive line, right? I think of a Kentucky team that, you know, they were never obviously as good as Georgia or had that much talent. But, you know, you ask anybody, any Georgia fan or Georgia folks, like, that was always a very physical football game. And that's how Kentucky beat people was physicality in the trenches. I think they need to get back to that identity. Who is that OC that gets them closer to that? Well, there's a couple of names, guys. First thing, any OC vacancies that come up, you're going to hear the name Kirby Moore thrown around a lot, right, from Missouri. I think he's going to be a hot name, especially what he has done at Mizzou in such a short time. You're going to hear his name thrown around. I'm not sure that's really a realistic name for this one. I think there are... There are fits that make more sense for Kentucky. And the list of names I have here on my short list, guys, first things first, you look at Joe Moorhead, who's currently the head coach at Akron. Would he entertain the idea of coming back to the SEC in an OC role in Lexington, working with Mark Stoops? Potentially. Going from Akron head coach to SEC offensive coordinator? I'd call that an upgrade. And it wouldn't be the first Power 5 head coach we've seen go from that status to being a coordinator in the Southeastern Conference. Then, guys, one of the obvious is Tommy Reese, right? Tommy Reese, who now is with the Cleveland Browns as a tight ends coach. Does Kentucky go calling for Tommy Reese? I mean, listen, you could say whatever you want about what he did at Bama. He didn't do that bad of a job, right? He didn't do that bad of a job. Guy who's now who now has SEC ties. Because of that one year in Tuscaloosa, maybe Tommy Reese is the answer. How about T. Martin? There's a name for you. T. Martin, Ravens quarterback coach. He was at Kentucky for two years under Joker Phillips. So he's got ties to Kentucky. He's got ties to Big Blue Nation. We all know the great player that he was, obviously. Has done a pretty damn good job in, in Baltimore with Lamar Jackson. So... Um, I think he could be a fit, right? Again, spent some time in Lexington. He understands the, the climate there. And then Will Stein. I think that one's kind of a dark horse. The Oregon offensive coordinator. going to be a tough time prying him away, but his dad did play at Kentucky. So again, there are some Kentucky ties there, right? So those would be my top four names. Joe Moorhead, Tommy Reese, T. Martin, Will Stein. It'll be interesting to see what direction Mark Stoops goes here because you add Brock Vandegrift out of the transfer portal. As I mentioned, you've got Barry on Brown coming back. You've got Dane Key coming back. But I just think it's it's so important that Kentucky get back to that ground and pound using play action. You know, they, they've struggled. I mean, they've just they, – and it's been weird to watch Kentucky struggle to run the football, right? It, it's been weird to watch them struggle to run the football. So – Liam Cohen, officially out in Lexington, headed back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And again, guys, I, I just can't help but think, are we going to be seeing more of this? Are we going to be seeing 
more of these college coaches say, you know what? I love college football, but I don't necessarily love what it has become with the transfer portal, with NIL, what have you. So, I'll be curious to see, and I know we all will, what direction Kentucky goes, what direction Mark Stoops goes. Again, the names I mentioned, Moorhead, Reese, Martin, Stein. Who can bring that physicality back to Kentucky football? Who can bring that smash mouth? You know, I don't think at Kentucky you can get cute. It's about leaning on the running game. Your football team embodies the mentality of your coaching staff and your head coach. And Mark Stoops, he's a tough, hard-nosed dude. And I think that's the identity Kentucky needs to stick with. I think that's the identity that's going to keep Kentucky in that seven to eight win per year range, which before you scoff at that, that's a pretty good range. When you think about the history of Kentucky, what Mark Stoops has done in Lexington, and you look at the history before him, that's a pretty damn good range. And there's a couple other SEC programs that would love to be in that seven to eight win range per year. So, what direction does Kentucky go on the offensive side of the football? Will it be Joe Moorhead? Will it be Tommy Reese? Will it be T. Martin? Will it be Will Stein? Will it be somebody else? Will it be someone with SEC ties? Will it be someone with no SEC ties at all? Will Kentucky be fighting with another SEC program? to land the offensive coordinator they want. More on that in another conversation. But it'll be interesting to see what direction Mark Stoops and the Wildcats go as Liam Cohen is headed back to the NFL to take over as the OC for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And with spring ball looming, Kentucky now is on the search for a new offensive coordinator. Guys, with that being said, appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so you get notifications of when we go live and when we drop new video content as well. Also, be sure to check out the podcast, guys. iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. And also, of course, follow us on social media. X, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. You name it, we are there. The best SEC entity on the internet. Guys, appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of your day, and we will talk to you all next time.